Welcome to Chelsea Piers, Connecticut, home to the 2016 College Squash Association Individual National. The best men's and women's collegiate squash players in the nation are here, and Bates College is well represented. Ahmed Abdelkalik, the defending national champion, is back as the top seed in the bracket. But he hasn't had much time to train or prepare. Well, I was sick until last Sunday. I, start, I started training again on Monday, and here I am, you know. We'll see how that goes. But I wouldn't say the best two weeks of my life. <laughs> what do you know about your opponent today? Well, I know nothing. <laughs> Honestly, I would tell you. <laughs> it's easier when you play someone you know. You know what I mean? The, you know, you at least know how they play. You know what to expect. But for someone you've never really seen play before, you don't even know who he is, and then you, find, you just meet him on court and you have to play with what you see, you know what I mean? If I win, that's great. If I lose, I'll cheer, I'll cheer for my friends, you know what I mean? But yeah, of course I'd love to win. But let's say, okay, like I've been winning for three years and I've been happy with it. If I lose, I still, I still have to accept it. I'm at Hatata. Another All-American season is in the books, but he's staring at a first-round match with last year's national runner-up, Osama Khalifa. Since the beginning of the semester, we've been uh, we've been preparing mentally and and physically and squash-wise and everything for this weekend because we know this this is the the biggest weekend of the season and that uh, we know how important it is to us and to to everyone at Bates. I, I'm trying to just like get everything outside my head, like academic-wise, like everything going on, just focusing on the match. Trying to see, like, you're trying to think of a good strategy. Darius Campbell. He is playing in the Malloy Division D tournament and is looking for every edge he can get. The first thing is definitely try. Um, try hard. A lot of kids this week, because it's the end of the season, they're just, like, playing in a tournament just because, like, really with no purpose sometimes. And um, they kind of think that, like, oh, if I'm not the number one seed or if I'm not expected to win this match, then... I don't really need to win it, so they don't go out and try. And so one big thing, well, this week at least, I'm going to do is try to win or try to just think about every match and every point and every shot, just like everything, because just that little bit of effort counts, and a lot of people don't give it. So people are burnt out, and, I mean, it's a bummer in that sense that they're tired of squash, but... It's a good thing for me because I know that and I plan to use that to my advantage. Christina Alexova, the first year's competing in the Hollerin Division C tournament and her first match is against her best friend from back home in the Czech Republic. Yeah, yeah, she sent me the draw and we were like laughing. It's always like kind of weird to play your friend. But yeah, um, I think I'm ready. I know like exactly how did she play, but we haven't seen each other for a while on a court, so I don't really know. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. Who won the last time you played each other? Wow, that was like three years ago maybe. But I think it was me. <laughs> Vicky Arjun. She's in the Holleran Division D tournament and making her nationals debut along with Alexova. I mean, first, it's the first brand new experience. Uh, don't know what to expect. I think the, being introduced to the collegiate level has been a phenomenal experience so far, and I'm really excited to have our teammates here, watching the two moments play, watching Christina and Darius play. Like, I'm really excited to support my teammates and hopefully play well. These five student athletes competing at nationals are supported by senior captains Karan Aurora and Lauren Williams, who are on the trip to provide additional coaching when needed. I think everyone has their own comfort zone with the people that like to talk to them. So I think as our jobs here as support systems is just to respect their space and respect uh, who they're comfortable receiving information and advice and coaching from and just continue to support them as, much, as best as we can. And no matter who you are, no matter what player in the world you are, you always think of it as, a, as an advantage and as a positive to have your team uh, uh, rearing you on from outside. So that's what's going to happen this weekend. Um, I think they're, they're a little nervous, but I think they're so experienced. I mean, even though they're like 19 or 18, they've had so many years of squash. This is a new, they're, they're not like new to the game, but definitely when this place starts to fill up, it's going to be a lot more intimidating. And that's when we come in and we try and give them support, keep them focused, and uh, yeah, just keep them in the zone. 
It's been great. Karan and, and Lauren have been a, a huge part of the success of the program over the past four years. Um, especially Lauren on the women's side, being really instrumental in mentoring and, and coaching and teaching the young, the younger group. Um, and Karan too. Karan's been a real steadying influence for Ahmed. Um, you know, friends for four years. They came in together as international students, and um, so they've just been been close to each other. And, and I think it's been a real, real nice addition to have them here as a sort of a steadying influence and uh, assistant coaches per se. Friday morning, breakfast at the team hotel. The players are awake early in order to go to the courts to get some work in before their matches in the afternoon. It's a little bit of a mental exercise, right? Because all year we, we have focused on the team and, and playing for the guys and finishing strong as a team. Um, and then for the past two weeks, we've focused on just you know individual rankings, individual seedings, matchups individually, and then this trophy that is that that was in our building for the past year. So. Um, yeah, I think it's a little bit of pressure. The Friday matches produced mixed results for the Bobcats. The defending champion Abdel Kalik wins easily over Rochester's Neil Cordell, and Alex Ova is victorious as well over her best friend. Meanwhile, Hatata, Campbell, and Arjun drop their matches and move into their respective consolation brackets. Yeah, it's challenging. I think that the, the key is to um, to stay focused, as you said, and, and to maybe set the table for next year. You know, um, they're all coming back next year and, and they're all top players. And so they have it within themselves to, to compete till the end. Um, that's what we do as Bobcats, right? We, we compete until the end and fight. Um, but I also think it's, it's, as I said yesterday, and as the message has been all year, is, is have fun and, and do your best. Um, and, and it's the final two days of the season. So have fun, do your best, and see what, see what you can make, make of it. Saturday brings a morning match for Abdel Kalik against his friend and fellow Egyptian Mustafa Bayoumi. Abdel Kalik wins in five games. Alexova, Arjun, and Campbell all win their morning matches as well. In the afternoon, Abdel Kalik beats Trinity's Rick Penders in four games, and Alexova and Arjun also win. All three players will play on Sunday. Sunday morning sees Alexova and Arjun fall short in their final match at the Nationals. However, the two first years combined to go five and three, showing the country how bright the future is for the Bates women's squash program. By Sunday afternoon, the focus is entirely on Abdul Kalik and his chance at history. Uh, and walking by me, uh, senior from Bates College, our defending champion, uh, Abdel Khalid. Well, he played way better. He was fighting so hard. Last year, he wasn't really fighting as much, or maybe I was better, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but this time even he was just getting to each and every shot I played. It's very frustrating when you know that this is a winner for me, I should win this point, and then he comes out of nowhere and he wins the point. You know what I mean? So instead of being a winner for you, it's a winner for him. It was very frustrating. When all of those people come, and even alumni, and all your team, like literally all of my teammates are here tonight, today. Men and women, all of them. You know how, like, you know how I'm supposed to feel like having breakfast, all of us together, and even last night when we were hanging out together in the lounge, it gives you a great feeling, like these people got my back. You're like, win or lose, they have got my back. So it's a great feeling, and it made a huge difference having them by my side today. There was 
so much interference, in the, in the, especially in the third game, because both of us knew that the winner of the third game would win the match. The two injury timeouts in the final match, what does that say about the physicality of this game? Yeah, I think it helped both players in a way. Uh, you know, I know it sounds bad because they were injured, but I think you know, just catching their breath and refocusing a little bit, the play was just so frenetic on court that you know, the three minutes or five minutes here and there just, just I think, helped refocus. Um, but yeah, that match had a little bit of everything. Has it hit you yet that you're back-to-back -back national champ? No. I, I was sick a week before the tournament and I started playing three days before it started. So I was just, I was preparing for myself to lose. And it, I didn't, so it's great. Big congratulations. For Abdul Khalik, the story ends in another championship. For the rest of the bait squash players, their stories continue into next year and beyond. For Bates Athletics, I'm Aaron Morse.